from your most watched, most trusted weather source. Today is a first alert weather day. Across eastern Carolina right now, we're not seeing any active thunderstorms at this time, but later on this afternoon, that's where we're going to have to really keep a close eye on things because thankfully with cloud covers holding down the instability, if we were seeing more sunshine, that may start firing things up, but thankfully we're not seeing that at this moment. Continue to watch out for some damaging winds, but I want to emphasize the tornado threat with this is low, not expecting anything like that to happen, but we'll keep you updated if things change here between now and tonight. Going into this evening, things will start to quiet down after midnight. The main concern is those gusty winds 40 to 60 miles per hour and of course maybe some nickel and dime size hell if you do get under those supercell storms that kind of bring a lot of severe weather in a short amount of time. It's quiet and overcast towards New Bern right now. Nothing really falling from the sky. The Moorhead City uh, camera seeing some overcast conditions. You may be seeing some light mist falling out there, but it's really not anything associated with the storms that we're going to be seeing out here as well. Those temperatures and dew points are pretty humid and muggy. It feels a lot more warmer than what it is right now. Again, the visible satellite showcases this cloud deck over here is thankfully keeping us a little bit more calmer than we've seen in past states. Of course, yesterday down here is how Atlanta and parts of all the way uh, Montgomery, Alabama, Memphis, across Arkansas there picked up on some damaging storms there. Again, we'll keep an eye on that as we go further. And today, again, the main concern is in those gusty winds and again some hail in the midst of that. You kind of could see south of uh, Wayne County, Lenore County, uh, Duplin County. It looks like they've started to move this up just a little bit here. We'll keep an eye if that slight risk goes up any further, including including parts of our inland areas. Again, the coastal areas continue to keep track of the forecast. Make sure you have our app, download those updates. I doubt we'll have an update as we pass those along to you too. Temperatures in the holding in the low and mid 80s there with those afternoon showers and thunderstorms kind of becoming more isolated along further up 264 south of 264 and Highway 17. A better chance to pick up any of those uh, heavier downpours too. It's a little breezy there along the coast. We're going to continue to see this breezes pick up as we go towards this afternoon. Most inland areas will be under 10 unless you get under under one of those gusty storms that does produce some downpours as well. Along the coast, it is going to be breezy as well. So again, you kind of can see here by four or five o'clock, the latest data still showing some showers by eight, nine o'clock. That last line of showers and storms slowly moves out. And then again, as we get towards after midnight, we may be left with some light rain showers up to the northern part of the Outer Banks, but mostly dry as we go towards Saturday and Sunday. Looking good for Mother's Day weekend. We start that low humidity process, but unfortunately, all good things must come to an end as the humidity goes back up, so does our temperature.